Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to make another video today to get out of the way because I always want to talk about this watch, which is the Esken AM97. Uh, it's part of the Recraft series. This watch was actually one of the early purchases that I had in my collection. I just fell in love initially from the first time that I saw it on the internet. Of course, I naturally looked it up on YouTube with a couple YouTube reviewers. I mean, they reviewed this particular green version of the Recraft, and I fell in love was even more so I pulled the trigger of course with the additional bracelet that I purchased a very solid bracelet strap habit 24 millimeter uh, Beza Rye bracelet which I think bring this watch you know to a completely different class on its own it's a very beautiful watch but I like to talk about it today because I think if you eyeing on it for a while you thought about whether you want to buy it or not or you want to add a bit of another color dynamics in your collection have something to wear when you're feeling want to have a bit of fun that doesn't cost you a lot of money because really I want to talk about the price and where I think this watch is potentially going. Hope again this watch will be informative if you're already in that journey or you had a look on this watch you know uh, sometimes back but you want to you want to look at again in a close up uh, in a close up distance so you can arrive at your purchasing decision uh, sooner or later again okay now guys hope you're doing well and welcome back to my video love having you guys here okay so if you haven't subbed this channel you look at my channel in the past please click that sub button because what it will do I understand all the youtubers saying that in the beginning you know give them a sub smash that sub uh, uh, subscription button what it does is actually it's gonna make this video wide and uh, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna make this video and this channel far and wide it's gonna reach more audiences so more people is gonna check this video and knowing that this video has helped them arriving at their destination of either collecting of that watch or adding to that watch into a rotation into a collection and uh, you know what it's not about me because in the end of the day I want to share my passion with all you guys I want to be here for the next five ten years to come and I'm very humble to have what I have, to have the channel, to have 453 subscribers that are with me. I want to get to a thousand. There's guys, there's no power in playing small. I'm not saying I want to go big to a, a 10,000, a 50, or 100,000 uh, channel. Maybe, maybe one day we'll get there. I understand with my equipments and my time allocation and resourcefulness of input into my channels, this channel is not going to go that big. But why not dream? Why not having a dream? Why not having a dream just go to a thousand subscribers to make people aware that we'll have a great passion to share. Okay guys, so if you haven't subbed the channel, please give it a thought and then click that sub button and check them out a the video. If you're liking it, leave a comment. So surely we'll join to our discussion in the comment section below okay guys now i bought two watches of course we know this SKM 97 guys we have to give this watch a name because we know all iconic seikos they have to have a name right turtle samurai baby tuna tuna monster willard 62 mass alpinist baby alpinist what about this recraft is good it's officially what it what it meant to be uh, revisit of the old uh, racing star watches back in the 60s, 70s. Of course, if paired this with a, a brown strap, it's gonna look magnificent, guys. But let's think about a name. We're gonna give this watch. We gotta have a name, a nickname for this watch, so more people can relate to it. Okay, so I just wanna have those couple green dials. Of course, bringing the Alpinist is in completely different price range in his uh, historical relevance. Of course, we're not talking just about prices here. We'll talk about what those watches will bring in terms of love and joy. Okay, guys. Now, first of all, let's talk about this particular Recraft. Of course, we know the Recraft series is still available on the Amazon. As far as I'm concerned, it's still available between that 135 to 150 USD. Guys, I'm just going to say that in the front of the video. If you've been thinking, uh, if you got a spare $150 cash laying around, of course you can buy a mint condition brand new or it's up to you. But if you got that price, if you got that budget laying around, buy this watch, guys. Because my, look guys, we don't have, this is not a secret. In three to five years or two to three years time, Seiko will stop. I don't see they they don't have a point not to stop. They will stop the 7S movements altogether. And when they do that, they will only have a bunch of left. Of course, they like how they stopped uh, the SKX and many other Seiko 5s and other legendary Seikos that are using the 7S movement. 
they will start making 7S. The moment they start making 7S movement, they will only have a quantity left in their factory to be installed to other watches. And one day, this watch will be gone. And when that's gone, I can almost guarantee, I can put my life out there. I can, I can put my words out there. Sorry, it's not my life. I can put my words out there. This watch will tr be traded at least 150 bucks, if not more. Maybe getting close to 200 if you look after it. I don't see this watch will have a $50 price tag on it and nobody asks for it. This watch will retain its value of 150 Probably this watch will be the king of the $100 watch, in my personal view of my collection journey so far. I could be wrong, but that is my take. So guys, if you shop around, I believe currently Seiko, uh, you can still buy this, the SKMM97. Guys, we're going to come up with a name for that, but it's, you, you can still purchase it from Amazon US. I can't from Australia, Amazon no more. I don't know why. This is actually a bought from Amazon, but I can't buy it from Amazon Australia. So US Amazon, yes, you can. Uh, Joma Shop, I'm not sure. you got to look it up, but I think Mark's Long Island Watches still has the stock available. So check them out. Again, hopefully this video is going to make an informative for you to arrive at that purchase decision. I strongly recommend this watch. Okay, now first part of the video, I'm going to talk about the dimension of the watch. Very simple. We're going to go through because how you look at how square this shape is, right? So make no sense to, I mean, we can still do to the, we'll probably just do the th um, 3 to 9, of course, excluding the crown. Maybe a 230 to 830, okay? Try to get that line up directly. So 44. So 44.6, you know, between 44.6, so 44.5 uh, millimeter watch, okay, so very similar to the size of Samurai in turtle, maybe a slightly larger by half a mil, but it looks larger, isn't it, because the shape of it is a square, okay, it's pretty much a, it's pretty much a square watch, okay, based on the iconic design, I call this iconic design of the old style of racing watches, beautiful. Definitely give that vintage um, feeling perspective. Okay, luck to luck is the beauty of it. I think it's terrific design. They went all out to have a 24 millimeter luck, uh, luck to luck, uh, not luck to luck, luck width of 24 instead of instead of 22. I think that's a great design, which I'll talk about it to, uh, with you guys in a minute. The luck to luck uh, is. 50 we just call it 50 okay so this is a 50 luck to luck with a watch um you know on the of course on the larger end of the watches and th thickness that's the beauty of it guys is under 12. maybe because how wide it is they'll be able to maybe because the dial of the watch is significantly larger than uh you know Seiko five for example skx that also use 7s movement so they, they they found a way to squeeze the whole thing into the case of the watch by maintaining a almost a dress watch thickness that's another beauty of the watch guys under 12 millimeter thickness guys this is 11.5 okay guess you see what I mean it's thinner than your Sarb than the original sharp or at least the same if not less of course this has the absolute different design when it comes to the way that they fitted that uh, crystal absolutely magnificent okay so i'm gonna put this watch on my wrist to give you a wrist shot and experience visually of what this watch looks like on my seven inch wrist what, what do you think guys i think it's magnificent i think it's fantastic the way it's large because it is large it's not trying to be something that is not they're not trying to hide away it is significant as body but i think it's fantastic i think it's fantastic especially with this bracelet it just feels like a tank on your wrist very similar to the baby uh, yellow thing tuna that i have which is not a beautiful watch but this just demands presence and authority I'm loving it, especially on this bracelet, guys. Okay, the original stock bracelet is the same old story. You know, it's not the highlights of the watch. Okay, guys, I'm not going to talk about that bracelet, but guys, if you want to match up a 24 millimeters, a Biza Rise bracelet is the way to go. Fantastic. Now, moving on to the detailed design of the watch, as my journey with the watch from a case back perspective, see through case back. Beautiful. It's lovely to see. Uh, Seiko decided to inspire uh, other, you know, young, uh, 
young hobbyists that come into the come in the watch they have a very neatly done very transparent guys i um, I like how they made that. Uh, of course, it is Harlex crystal glass back. How how clear that is. Of course, Seven S, you know, will give it a shake, and it's gonna start going. Uh, it's gonna start going, so you can see, you can see. There you go, bidding away. There you go. I wanna give you guys a bit of a close shot. Um, beautiful watch. I'm decorative, of course. Seven S moving workhorse. You know the whole thing, right? And it, this watch is uh, 50 mm water resistance. Okay, guys. Again, I made a water resistant video about uh, I think about a week ago. Go check it out. It's a couple of videos done, but mainly I'm just telling you guys. All right, you can take this watch to swing based on the chart. Of course, this was purchased brand new, never opened. You can take this to a swing with you. You can take this to a shot with you. Of course, as long as you don't go to a hot top with it, it's fine. It's gonna go through any water sports fine. You can swim with it, you just not dive with it, and this watch is gonna be okay. Uh, we have a uh, push pull crown, of course. We know this movement does not hack. Um, but you know, day day, the first um, you put it out the crown, you change the day. I don't want to do too much when the you know the hour hands was ten position, ten o'clock, then you push it in. It's fine. This watch is beautiful in terms of functionality, water resistant, and it's just just look at it guys. If you look close up on the dial, what I like about this watch is first of all the whole green vibe that the watch gives you. This watch is just not stop giving, guys. You can see the, the the watch in terms of overall dial color is sunburst, okay, but also it's a sort of um, gradient green. So you see more green in the middle section of the watch, and then when you turn and having different lighting condition. It's sunray style. It is beautiful to see. As we know, classic formula: green with gold, and there are abundance of them. Okay, so all the indices are gold. The hourly hand, the second hand skeleton design, they're gold as well. Beautifully well done, well machined, guys. The level of machinery and the execution on a hundred twenty-five, hundred thirty-five dollar Seiko. Look, I'm not expressing watch collecting journey, but in my eyes and my experience with watches so far, is is unmatched. You cannot find out not a hundred twenty five dollar watch on the marketplace in any brand that come close to the execution. I'm not just talking about the execution of one thing. I'm talking about execution of the whole deal, every single piece of it, from the machinery of that logo cycle. I absolutely appreciate how they keep this dial. Clean. I just want to give you guys a close up, okay? I absolutely appreciate how they keep this dial clean. Automatic 7S26 is all you guys are gonna see. And that Seiko, and I love, even though they, guys, here's the thing, I'm even picking up new ons and new details by doing this. You see, at 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 6 o'clock, they had that white. It's, um, it definitely reflects light. It's that little piece of stainless steel material, that little layer of coating on the knees. But you see, at the three o'clock, they've done the right thing. They didn't sort of just go lazy and go, okay, we just trimmed that day when it was a go and leave it. Nah, they put a they, they put a they, they put a why the same material at three o'clock as well. Just match up with even the day day wheel is not colored by green. It give you a very good of consistency overall uh, at least in my eyes this watch seems uniqueness seems calmness but also in its harmony of its design i'm loving it uh, moving away from the outer dial as you can see this watch doesn't have a bezel but what it does it has a racing style uh, stopwatch um, markers between 60, 05, 10, 15, 20, all the way up to 60 is again. So make this watch look like a stopwatch. And you can see that green in the inner bezel. The green on that bezel, that round, is more true to green. It doesn't reflect lights. It looks like it's um, more of a um, of muted matte green okay let me show this guy there's just so much to talk about this style it's beautiful so when it comes to gold it, it put gold anywhere everywhere that is needed when you talk about green it has i'm not saying it has 50 shades of green guys but this one 
has just the right amount of dynamics when it comes to the green. And then finish up with the absolutely clean black on the outer style, on the outer layer of that, um, you can see, right, of that um, mini marker. Absolutely fantastic. And that f absolutely flat as, well, look at that, look at that crystal. Sapphire crystal will never, excuse me guys, I won't say never, but in my eyes, the transparency, it, it, look, this is under $25 watch, and it looks like this watch doesn't even has any crystal on it. That's how clear it is, guys. That's how clear this watch is. And moving along, uh, the case is done significantly in this design. Uh, I truly believe they've they built this case like a tank, guys. That outer shrouded like of brushed bezel in this case protects the watch significantly, uh, which is lug in its polished. Just give you a few more areas of reflection when you're wearing this watch in different lighting condition. I forgot to cover the crown, guys. The crown looks a bit smaller towards the whole size of the watch, and it is small. I'm guessing a four. There you go, six. So six millimeter crown. It's not a small crown, of course, but it feels small in the size of this watch. Okay, so this this watch is a magnificent piece. And with all that, they didn't stop. They would go, okay, we have to make this watch stand out even more. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna splash the design with a dash of orange. And not just a normal orange. It's a very bright, it's almost like this orange second hand has a light in it. It just gives you a very significant play when that orange, gold, and different shades of green play together. Okay, this is a, such a beautiful watch. Now I understand. I have I have I've taken a couple of short video of this watch, and every time I take it, it gets the most view. Actually, this this short one of the short that uh, video that I've done this hit almost seven thousand views, which really surprised me. Um, and guys, I know now why. It is a significant watch at an unbelievable price point. So if you like watches, you like something vintage, you like something quality, you want to have a great brand, even though, you know what? You don't have to be a Seiko-holic. You don't have to be a Seiko fanboy to buy this. If you love something great fun on your wrist, look into it. SKM, SKLM97. We gotta give a name to it, guys. We we can't call it Hawk. You can't call it Hawk Green. I mean, we we'll have to think of name for these guys in our community. We we'll have to let people know. Okay, this is a this is a true gem. Speaking of true gem, I had a friend of mine. Um, he had he had two Rolexes. I think one is No Day Sub. One is the Explorer One of Rolex. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. But when he looked at this watch up, he, he asked the question. He said, "Felix, where did you get that watch?" And he look at that uh, photo from a far distance. Of course, I talk about Seiko, the love that I have for it. Uh, the bit of, uh, you know, my take on this uh, particular uh, Raycraft. He bought it on the second day. And as far as, then, as far as I remember, the watch never left his wrist. All the two Rolexes that he had were in the box, uh, laying for bed resting. But um, that just shows you, right? So... Uh, he's not a real watch collecting in terms of quantities, but of course he loves something elegant and fantastic on his wrist, and that just give you a bit of you know highlights on the story of my of my friend. You run it to wearing a hundred dollar Seiko, then his legendary Rolexes. Okay, guys, but that, again, that all comes from love. I hope you guys found this uh, video very helpful. Lastly, I just put two green together. If you have, you know, if you have, um, if you have a just give you, if you have a sharp, sorry, I'm just simply get carried away by that green. But you want to try something different as a color, you want to have a different play between gold and green. This is a worthy, this is a worthy candidate for your choice. Okay, guys. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much, guys, for being with me. I hope you have a fantastic time. Any question about this watch, please leave in the comments. I have no doubt I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye for now.